day You'll be walking through the city All smiles For spy surgery it's uh, Nathan from Sun of Cellulite here once again, and we are here with the beautiful and talented Taffy O'Connell. Hey there. Um, now, you started out actually in television. Um, oh, yeah. How did you, uh, how'd you break into the uh, TV thing? Oh, I, well, t I, lo I love it all. That's a good question. How did I break into the TV thing? <laughs> actually, to tell you the truth, I'm Southern. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm really Southern. And okay. Universe had a film that was actually a long running, it was called Rich Man, Poor Man. Mm -hmm. Okay, I had been turned down for a contract with Universal because I had a southern accent. Okay. okay, first thing they called me in for is rich man, poor man. <laughs> I get it because it was Susie Blakely and Nick Nolte nice. because I have a southern accent. Excellent. So it just started rolling. I will tell you, I came out from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Okay, I had a master's degree. Okay, nice. and took three waitress jobs. First right. thing you want to do, you know, and get mm -hmm. with a great coach. There you go. And Anyone who wants to talk bad about the South. Those oh, are the kind no, of things that I comes love, out here. I love Chattanooga. Uh -huh. And I love being in Atlanta. Yeah. So that was my first big break. And it took a lot of tenacity. Right. I actually walked into an agent's office. I had no idea that he had had Lonnie Anderson. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, well, can you read? I said, God, yes. Because I was an actress. My mother had been on Broadway. And he went, oh, well, OK. Wow. And I read. And he said, yeah, you can read. Yeah, imagine that. I said, I said, yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. Yeah, I'm right. Southern. Yes, sir. And he said, well, okay. Very and he cool. started sending me out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I started booking. Not always. Right. Not always. Exactly. Here's a great, may I tell you a great for the first TV series? I Bring guess? it. Okay. This is hysterical, okay? Mm -hmm. I was told by my agent, okay? It's a, over at Paramount, it was a TV show. Uh -huh. I was told by my agent, okay, this is extremely sleazy call girl, okay? okay. I rat my hair all up. <laughs> right. I put on blue eyeshadow. <laughs> I have a sweat stained dress with a big bow, and I put all these scarves, so the boobs are just, woo okay? Right. I'm walking across the street. I'm getting cat calls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm about 22. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, stuff. this is good. This is good. Well, because I'm getting a character, yeah. and everybody's believing it. Mm -hmm. So I go in, and this was a show for Gary Marshall. Right. And they look at me, and I pick up what's called the sides, and it mm -hmm. says, extremely high-class fashion model. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I run to the restroom, I, I mat my hair down, I try to put a little, little one of the, pull the scarves out, right. put one on my head, okay? Mm -hmm. But you still got the blue eyes, you still got the red lips, you got that terrible dress. So I walk in, and the casting mm -hmm. director, which is actually Gary's sister at the time, Ronnie Hallen, and the other casting director just... Look at me. And I say, oh, I know. I bet I'm on the wrong soundstage, on the wrong... Yeah. And they go, read. Go ahead and read. I read. They love the reading. And they go, well, we like the reading, but... I said, I know I understand. Okay. So I, I'm home. I'm driving home. I'm crying. I'm calling my agent. How could you do this? How could you... And the agent said, you should have never dressed for the role. I, so I dropped that agent, right? right. Guess what happens? I, a month later, my new agent gets a call. New Gary Marshall show for a showgirl. I got a series out of that mistake. Nice. Is that cool? Because I just want to pass that on right? to people. Yeah, sometimes it's the mistakes that end up working out really well. Mm -hmm. And they remembered me, and they had me in for the series, and I got the series. That's it was my cool. first TV series. Very cool. So that's a long answer to a, to a short question. Right. Now, uh, your first foray into horror was a flick I dig a lot, New Year's Evil. I love that movie. Tell me about filming that movie. It was absolutely great. Actually, I had a, a friend that was doing it. It was, it was his first time. Oh, really? Okay, Emmett Austin. Mm -hmm. It was his first time as a director and a writer. Right. And I was doing a show for Gary Marshall, okay, with Roz Kelly. Okay. And he said, I've got this great script. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to do, you know, the role of the nurse, blah, blah, right. blah, blah. Can you get Roz? Mm -hmm. to do the lead that, that, and I called Roz okay. you know in those days she was Piki Tuscadero yes. and she and I were really good friends and she goes oh honey that sounds like such fun <laughs> so I get Roz mm -hmm. it was great because I loved having my throat slit yeah. and getting hung up in a closet <laughs> so much fun my sister said when she saw the movie mm -hmm. it terrified her because I looked so dead yeah. I said yeah they do a good job oh, ah. It's kind of a, that's one of those arts that people don't think about. But playing dead, a lot of people can't do it very well. You did it very good, very well. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. You play dead very well. Thank you. I can roll over, too. I mean, no, I'm, very nice. I'm going there. <laughs> now, I have to ask you this question because I, there's no one else on earth I will ever be able to phrase this question like that. Uh -oh. What is it like being raped by a giant space maggot? <laughs> oh, you were on my date last night? I, I was hiding in the bushes watching. <laughs> 
was, I tell you, it actually didn't, it didn't start out to be that way. Mm -hmm. Roger Corman kind of put it together and tricked me. Really? I'm not kidding, he really did. Because mm -hmm. the, the first day we came in, there was nudity. Right. And I called my agent and said, there's nudity. He said, go to your dressing room, we're shutting the set down. <laughs> he, called, he really did, and he shut the set down. Right. And uh, so he called, oh, Roger said, no problem, no problem, no problem, okay? <laughs> So we just we just started shooting. Mm -hmm. I supposedly had a body double. Right. But as the, the context of the scene, mm -hmm. you just you just saw the complexity of this woman. Right. I mean, it, it, it's like she'd been in her head. She was a space tech woman. Right. And all of a sudden, she's kind of getting into her sexuality and getting yeah. into the whole thing. So it was hot. <laughs> also, they gave me a little brandy. The slime tasted great. Right. Now, now, did you actually, it's actually been debated before, did you or did you not have the body double for that scene? Half, this is, okay, this is me. Okay. Okay, there's one time when the, the tentacle goes around the breast. Uh -huh. I'm not sure whether that's me or not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I would know I, those I, boobs I, anywhere. <laughs> I know, I would know the boobs. Right. But I'm not sure because he did bring in for that one scene because mm -hmm. that was in my contract. Megan right. said, don't do it. But then when we got shooting, because at the, the scene we were doing at mm -hmm. four in the morning. Right. And the guys were great. They were warming the slime for me. Right. I've heard that when the, when they actually had to cut part of that scene out in the MPAA, it wasn't the nudity. It was actually your face that they had to cut out. Is that? <laughs> well, the face wasn't important. Well, the, no, it was more the uh, faces you were making. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Seeming to enjoy it a little too much. Yes, I know. I more into the act. Did you hear about how the maggot almost smushed me? Yes, I saw that. That was on the uh, the DVD. Yeah. Which, why did that movie take so long to get to DVD? You know, I don't know. I really don't know because uh, Roger has his own game plan. Mm -hmm. And I think I think once the internet hit, all of a right. sudden there was this huge resurgence of Galaxy of Terror. Mm -hmm. I think if the internet had been around mm -hmm. in the 80s, it would have been just huge. Because Roger just thought he was making a little movie. Right. He didn't even think to do, do a DVD of it. Mm -hmm. Just took the theaters. And I remember like, it was eight or nine years ago when I saw it for the first time at the drive-in. And I went to, online to see if I could find a DVD, nothing. And VHSs of it were going on eBay for like $60, $70. Yeah, no, see, he went to VHS, mm -hmm. but no, the DVD has just yeah. come out. Mm -hmm. Just come out. And we're just, we're delighted. Because, right. I mean, the people in that, I mean, Sid Haig. Yeah. You know, Robert England. Mm -hmm. I mean, and... Amazing cast. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. And Edward Albert Jr. had just won an Academy Award like five years before. Right. And this man was so nice to work with. And you can see Aaron Moran get her head crushed. I, <laughs> I love How Aaron. How great is there's that? My little, there's my photo with Aaron. Yep. I love Aaron. Now, um, you she was supposed to do nudity. Oh, really? And then she went in her dressing room. We were always <laughs> running in our dressing rooms a lot with our agents, okay? Right. And she came out and she said, guess what, guess what? I don't have to do the nudity. I'm going to get my head crushed. There you go. Right. That's a trade-off, right? Oh, yeah. I've heard there's no better film school possibly to teach you to make a movie than being on a Roger Corman movie. Roger, is that true? I mean, James Cameron was our second unit director, okay. Uh, it, the people in prosthetics are now huge. Mm -hmm. Roger Corman brings in a quality product mm -hmm. every time he for pennies. He's my idol. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's absolutely my I idol. I saying that on the uh, commentary track. Yeah. And Alec Gillis mm -hmm. who's on the commentary. Yeah. I mean, he's huge now. Spider-Man, mm -hmm. Spider-Man 2. Oh, yeah. And did he, remember he talked about the head they used? Yes. That Roger Dahl actually had it. Nice. From a previous, you know, from a previous favor. Do you have anything from the movie? Did you keep anything? I do. I kept my uniform. Exactly. By the way, she has them available right here. Yeah. You want one of these, folks. You definitely want one of these. I just, you know, one, I was climbing up the mountain. Uh-huh. And I just wrecked it. So they let me have the pants because I got new pants. Very cool. Yeah.